What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an awesome team to show up for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Zassian team, but not just the same old meta Zassian team. We got ourselves a Zassian team with Blastoids alongside with it. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. We just hit 8,000 subscribers and that just blows me away. But getting started, we have Blastoids in that top left corner with that Shell Smash, Ice Beam, Scald, and Fake Out. I love this moveset on this Pokemon, and I love this Pokemon all around. Definitely a lot of fun to use, and he has a G-Max form, which is dope. We have the Rain Dish ability and the White Herb, so our Shell Smash can get out here with no stat changes at all. We also have Incineroar right next to him with Intimidate and that Figgy Berry. Parting Shot, Snarl, Flare Blitz, and Fake Out. Nothing new for an Incineroar. We have a Zacian over here, and I actually never use this moveset for Zacian. It's a Zacian moveset with Substitute, and yeah, I never use it, but I've seen people using it all the time, and it looks like it rocks out pretty well. We also have Protect, Sacred Sword, Iron Head, and then that Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword for that plus one attack boost every time we swap into battle. Landorus right next to him for another Intimidate drop, so we have two Intimidate Pokemon, so physical attackers we can roll after and just get that attack drop on him. We also have that Soul Fest so we can soak up some shots. U-Turn, Fly, Rock Slide, and EQ. Bottom left corner, we got Rillaboom, the one and only, the drummer boy over here. I like this Pokemon a lot. Really strong, can hit like a truck as well. With the Grassy Surge, Koba Berry, High Horsepower, Knock Off, Take Off items. Grassy Guide for that stab, first turn priority, one in the Surge and fake out so we get those flinches. Then in the final spot is gonna be Regilecki. Like I've been saying in previous videos, Regilecki has just been so viable in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield online doubles. It's just so good. I feel like it's so meta right now. You just have to have him on his team because he does so much. He outspeeds everybody. He can uh, speed control with Electro Web. He can pivot out with Bolt Switch and he hits pretty hard with Thunderbolt. But guys, if you wanna try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Blastoise and Zacian team. Wouldn't you guys know, we're going up against a Zassian team, so we're going to fight fire with fire in battle number one. I want to use a Zassian team for today's video because it is just so meta and everyone's using it, but I didn't want to use just that same old meta team, so I found this one with Blastoise on it, and I feel like we're going to have some fun with it today, but he also has that Whimsicott, the Moltres, the Rillaboom as well, and then the Indeedee and Landers for Intimidate drop. I feel like we have to bring in Intimidate Mons. He does have uh, speed control, so I feel like maybe Regilecki alongside with an Intimidate Mon to get us started could be pretty nice. And I feel like Incineroar would be a lot better. We can get that fake out, out here as well. But I do dig. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get this rolling out here. And then I would definitely want to bring Zacian because he's just an absolute beast. And I think Blastoise in our final spot could be really well. I am digging that. Let's roll out with that. Let's get after it. Let's try to do it. But yeah, dude, I think last video that I recorded, because I didn't record yesterday. I was really, really busy. But the last video that I actually uploaded yesterday, I recorded two days ago. I think I went up against three Zacian teams in a row for all three battles. It's just crazy. It really is crazy how overpowering this Pokemon is just taking over the meta. I don't think ever since this game came out, there's been a more used Pokemon. He's going to lead the Whimsicott and the Moltres. Okay, so that's totally fine. We can get off a fake out here. And, um... Hmm. I'm trying to think. We can get off a fake out, and I think he might Dynamax the Moltres. So I think I'm going to fake out the Whimsicott. And maybe drop an E-Web? We think... Or is that thing policy? Hmm. Could be policy, it really could be. Or it could be orb. We start slowing these boys down. I think we just start slowing everybody down. Try and take speed control here. Why can't snarl? Hmm, what do I think he's gonna do? Could snarl or I could parting shot. I think I am going to parting shot. Just to try to be able to swap out here and have my Intimidate for later. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to roll. So he is going to end up Dynamax, and we aren't going to go for the fake out. I just didn't think it was a play there. Just think, we, we say, say we flinch that thing. He gets off like a speed boost here. I just don't see it being the play. Hopefully he goes after Regilecki. We can sash up and roll from there. But yeah, fake out just isn't the play because we can't really take out Wimsky, and we knew he was Dynamaxing the Moltres. But let's see. Make a move, baby. Here goes the Tailwind, obviously. I'm just hoping this thing's not policy. I'm hoping this thing's not policy, but we will actually go after it. And he's going to drop it Darkness. So chill on me. Go after Red Zone. Thank you. So we're eating that one up. We're going to Sash up. We Sashing up, baby. So Sash is out and about. We're going to E-Web. Slow these boys down. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Special Defense is getting dropped. And show me this thing's not policy. Show me this thing's not policy. Show it to me. Right now, I don't think it is. I think policy would have proc already. Let's see. 
Come on, no policy. It is policy. Dang it, man. <laughs> of course, this thing's policy. He gets that attack boost, and we are going to be able to parting shot out on it and at least uh, drop its stat just a little bit more. We're going to be able to drop that, and I think we have to get out Blastoids and Dynamax, right? That might have to be the play. Might have to be the play. We can drop ice and control a lot here. We can do that. Yeah, I'm going to get out Blastoise. I'm, I'm going to have to Dynamax him here. And I think that the speed drop is going to have to come out here again. Or do I just double up into him? Do I go for the T-Bolt or do I go for the speed control? I think he still outspeeds me regardless. So I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt if we can connect with this. Then I think we Dynamax. And then do I Hailstorm and take out the Wimscott? Or do I get after his Moltres? What does Jeans want to do here? Actually, I kind of want to go for that speed control shot. Let's do it. Let's try to drop some speed here. Then I'm going to Dynamax and drop a Hailstorm over onto uh, Wimscott or Moltres. Let's go Moltres here. He's posing a big threat. Posing a real big threat here. This one's going to be tough. This one's going to be a tough hole to climb out of. We know he has Zassian in the back. We also have Zassian, and we do have an Intimidate Mom, which could be good. And we also have Fake Out, right? Here. But it's just going to be tough to try to get around this Berserk Moltres. That still has Berserk uh, ability to pop. So he is going to go plus up another special attack very, very soon. But Wimscott is probably just going to drop a Moonblast, right? He's going to Fake Tears, dude. He's going to Fake Tears me. I don't like that one bit. I think we're dead. Oh, no, but we have... Oh, my God. I forgot about our Herb. Our Herb's clutching up, baby. Our herb is clutching up. Our herb is clutching up. I might guard next turn and slow him down again. Let's see what happens here. Berserk is going to pop, but yo, our herb is clutching up. We might be able to eat this eat this shot up now. Let's see. He's going to go for an airstream and get that speed boost. Last week should be able to eat. Yes, yo. Because of the white herb. Protecting us from that special defense drop. I totally forgot about that thing. So we get speed. So we need to take out Moltres right here. We need to get rid of Moltres right here. Come on, Blastoise. You got this, baby. You got this. Come on. You got it. You do not have it. You do not have it. Not one bit. We are going to take out our... What's it called? Our Regilecki. That could actually help us out. Because I could get an Incineroar. Just in order to get a fake out. Because I think his Dynamax turns are over, right? Are they over? Hmm. It's sub up. What do I want to do here? But get out Zash. Do I get out my main man pots and pans? Do we just fake out that uh that Wimscott and guard? to play. I don't know. I'm sitting tough here. I really need that KO. Might have to guard up here. I might have to guard up here. Do I guard? Do I predict him predicting the guard? I think I just guard. And we saw a turn here. I think that's going to be play. Let's see what happens here. We're gonna fake out and guard. Start letting the buffet damage do, do its work. Hmm. This one's tough. I really need that KO. I really need that KO there. That would have that would have set us up pretty well here. We get our max guard off. Fake out's gonna come out here for the flinch. So Wimscott's not moving. Go after my blast switch, please. He reads the guard heavy, man. He reads it. Oh, dude, I knew it. I was saying that too. He gets a crit too. It was taking us out regardless. But I was saying that too. I was like, dude, he might read the guard. Smart play by him. That was big. That was big, big play by him to do that. What a play. What a beautiful play. Moltres is going to take buffets. And we just have to get out Zassi and, and hope that we can actually run this battle. I think Tailwind might end. No, he still has one more turn left in Tailwind. His Dynamax turns are over. Zassi is going to pop. We're going to get my boy out here. I might protect Zassi here. I think I had to protect Zassi. As we try to get rid of some of these Pokemon. Then we had to protect him. We're gonna protect. Uh, let's drop a Canyonade. 
But can you nade so we get the buffet damage and the vortex damage? Yeah, we'll start getting some vortex damage out and about. See, even though it's not very effective, I feel like the, the damage, the vortex, and the buffets should be able to take out both these Pokemon and just get rid of them. That's if we can even get off a hit. I really don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to hard read my protect again? Or is he going to try to go for fake tears and try to get rid of me? Let's see. I protect. We need we need, we need, need him to attack me here. We really do. Tailwind's going to come out here. It fails. Fire Wrath comes out here. We block. I think my blaster should be able to eat this one up. Yes, Blastoids eat. Okay, yo, I'm liking this. I'm digging this. That one should end next turn, too, so we can't get off another one. I'm liking this a lot. So there's that. One Scott's going to go down. And what's close going to go down. And Moltres going to go down. Pretty good battle right now. Pretty good battle. We have no more Dynamax turns. There's the Buffets. That's fine. One Scott goes down, and then the Vortex should be able to clean up Valerian Moltres. We should be able to roll off from here. So now it's a close battle. Now it's a real close battle. And we got a close one. There goes that Vortex. Bilp. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Okay, so we get rid of you. Surprised he went for a Tailwind. Do you think Tailwind was gone already? But that benefits us. Because now it's like, speed's normal. Speed is all cleared on the board. There's no speed buffs. There's no speed nerfs. There's no Tailwinds. And he goes Lando. Oh, he goes Lando. He brings Lando. And I think Zassian's going to come out of here. Yep. Yep. Zassian and Lando. I'm going to go down minus or even. He's going to be plus one. We did outweigh my uh, Intimidate, which was smart. You guys playing really, really well. Especially with that match guard read. That was big. That was real big. Okay, right, so my Dynamax turns, and I think Blastoise might be slow on the field. I don't want to get after us. How does Genius want to get after us? Because I could see him dropping a Rock Slide, potentially. And I might just go for that. Hmm. Go for Behemoth Bash. Uh, I think we gotta get after it. I don't know, man. This one's tough. I'm, I can't protect. Hmm. I think we're just gonna double up in Orlando, try to take him out. I think this one's over. He's gonna outspeed us all. Oh, he put. Wait a minute. Hold up. Yo, Rock Side miss. I know he's going for a Rock Side or an EQ. Behemoth Blade comes out first. Do some damage. Get a crit. Get a crit. Get a crit. Do him dirty. Dude, if we were plus one, that might have been able to take out. Goes for the EQ. Miss my Blastoids, or Blastoids avoid it. Let's see. Nope. Mmm. Okay. That's gonna be GG's, man. That is GG's. Oh, dude, that was actually a good battle. That ended up uh, coming very, very close. I feel like if he didn't make that max guard read, we probably would have won this game because we would have had an extra turn with our Dynamax Blastoids. And we would have been able to roll out a little bit stronger. But the, wait, the Vortex damage coming out. Hold up. Wait a minute. If we outspeed and maybe get a crit, we could win this game. Hold up. Wait a minute. Game's not over. Game is not over. You're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance here. The moves to play. Are these both stab? Are these both considered stab? It's probably the steel moves. A little bit better. Behemoth Blade. Or Behemoth. Yeah, Behemoth Blade coming out here. Come on, outspeed. My Zassi needs outspeed. Nope. He outspeeds me. Dang it. And we go GG. So, battle actually came a little bit closer than I even thought it would have been. But we start off 0-1, we can hop to our second battle and look for our first win for today's video. Second battle coming at you guys, and thank the lord we're not going up against the Zassian team, not going up against the Kyogre team, not going up against the Groudon team. We're going up against an off-meta Zekron team, and now I feel bad for using Zassian, but it is what it is. But this guy has Alolan, Ninetales, alongside with Suicune, Arcanine, Galarian, Zapdos, Zekrom, and Rillaboom. So very cool team, I give this guy props. If he watches these videos, shout out to him. Definitely shout out to him. Um, who should I go into? How should I lead this one? I'm thinking he's going to lead the Ninetales, potentially. Or he could lead the Rillaboom. Let's see either way. I kind of want to lead Zassian and get rolling with that. I could go Blastoids. I might set up a Roar Veil. So I can actually fake him out. I got a free fake out. Let's go Incineroar. But he has Defiant, so let's not go Incineroar. Let's go here. With Rillaboom, and then let's bring Zassian, and then in the final spot... Hmm. Final spot. Let's go to Lando. Let's go to Lando. I'm digging that. Or I could go to Regilecki in the back end. I think I'm liking Lando a little bit more. Yeah, I'm liking Lando a lot. I'm liking Lando a lot. But when are they going to add... What's it called? When are they going to add... Uh, Suicune? Or not Suicune. When are they going to add Ice-type into Suicune? I really don't know. 
I really don't know. It's been water type for this whole time, and it should totally be water and ice type. Like, it's just weird. It is just weird to me how it's not ice, and it looks like he has, like, a little ice spear on his head. It's crazy to me. But he's gonna lead Zapdos, so good thing I straight off, stayed off that Defiant. He goes Zapdos and Rillaboom. And we're gonna go Blast towards him and Rillaboom. And I don't like this one bit! I'm gonna have to fake out, uh... I might swap. I might fake out the Rillaboom and swap here. He's got a big turn up against me. If I can fake out Rillaboom and drop Ice. Might be play. Fake out and drop Ice. But on who? The Zapdos can do big damage onto my Rillaboom slot. I think, I think we take out his Rillaboom. And we fake him out. Alright, that's going to be play. That's going to be play. And hopefully we can get off a knockoff next turn. But I think Zapdos is going to be able to outspeed us. And potentially Dynamax here. And go for an Airstream, I think. Probably Life Orb, so... I think I should knock off his item. I feel like whenever people roll Glaring Zapdos, like, this is the combo to lead it with. And I don't know why it works so well, but it just does. The Roll Boom and the Glaring Zapdos. It's a nice little combo to get started. An easy lead. Does work all around. It can hit pretty hard. It covers the Intimidate drops. That's really nice. He's going to end up Dynamaxing the Bird, who's going to be fastest on the field. Unless it's Roll Boom, but I, I really don't see him Dynamaxing Roll Boom. Let's see. Yep, it's the bird. It's the ostrich. It's Limu Emu from uh, that commercial. I totally forget the uh, name. Uh, Liberty Mutual. <laughs> you guys ever see that commercial? It's like the emu and the guy. They're like police officers and he cracks it up every single time. But there goes our Dynamax here. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. How could we go into here? Because I think he's going to take out Roll Room and it gets speed. I don't like. I don't know. But I think we can take out his Rillaboom here as well. Let's see what he's going to do. Hopefully we, our Fake Out comes out first. It does. But just in case he was going for Fake Out, we go for Fake Out. Maybe he was going for a Grassy Glide. Something along those lines. He goes for an Airstream. And my Berry. My wonderful Cobra Berry is coming out here. But I do enjoy that. We're able to eat because of that. He's going to get a Speed Boost. Kind of tough. And I think he's going to be Orb. You see Orb? Got to be Orb. He has got to be orbed. He's not orbed, so he, he might be policy. Might be policy. Here goes our hailstorm. Hopefully, it's KOs. Not even close. Ugh, I don't like that one bit. Oh, that was disgusting. That was disgusting. I don't like that one bit. Buffett's coming out up against everybody. That was just that was just disgusting. And HP is just gonna look like that. Aggressive. Alright. Dude, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know about this battle. This battle's not looking too hot. I think I might just go for Canyon and start getting Vortexes around here. And do I take off Zapdos item if I can? Can, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it here, even though he's faster than all of us. I think it's just gonna go and go for another airstream and glide. See what he does. Let's see what kind man does. Oh, we're struggling today. We are totally struggling. That was nice. I, I'm not feeling good. I don't have that good feeling right now for this battle. I don't have it. Hopefully, you guys are still enjoying the content, even if we win or lose. He goes for a grassy glide, doing some big old damage. I think another airstream's gonna come out here. No, he's gonna knuckle. He's gonna knuckle for that attack and shit. What a smart cook. Can we eat? I forgot. It's stacked too. He's gonna. Off here, he's going off. He's going off. Boom's gonna drop down. Oh, oh, this is an ugly battle. This is an ugly battle. We get a canyonade off. At least we get off some damage, and uh, Vortex is gonna pop out. Mm. This is this is this is an ugly battle. I'm sorry you guys had to witness this, but like I tell you guys, I don't lie. I don't lie. First three battles I record are the first three battles I show. So if we're doing bad, you guys gotta watch it. <laughs> Vortex damage is popping through. We still have our Lando, but I do not want to bring him out because it's defiant right now. I feel like we have to bring out Zacian and maybe protect him. I think another Grass Guy might take us out. Hmm. What is Jeans going to do here? What am I going to do? Here goes my attack boost. Do I guard up on the Blastoids or do I get after it? I think we're dead here. Hmm.
the guard away self another turn Which I am gonna do we're just gonna behemoth blade over onto the Zapdos slot try to do as much damage as I can Let's see what happens here here goes my guard do not do not go back to back battles where you just read my guard hard there's the knuckle into my what's called slot we see that coming Zassian Zassian's able to eat I think the grass guy's gonna slide over and we are gonna be able to get off a blade here he's just boosting stats like crazy Demon Blade, get a crit. Get a crit. You're plus one. You can do it. You can do this dirty. You can do it dirty. Come on. Get him out of here. Get him out. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a big play. Okay, so we get him out of there. Wasn't even a crit. That thing just hits like an absolute truck. And I could swap Blast Weeds out. Just for the sheer fact you get an intimate drop. And he reads my guard? This dude reads my guard like that? Yo. Come on, yo. We're getting out red all day today. All day today. God dang, man. Vortex damage. Does it get the KO? It does. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. All right. Lando, get out here. Lando, get out here, baby. It's a 2v2 situation. Bro, he really read my guard there. If he didn't read my guard, my Zassy's still in here. And we're sitting decently well. We go Lando, it's the fine Pokemon's gone, and who's he gonna go into? Nine Tails, okay. And who else? And Zekla. So I think they're both special. Zekla might be physical. I'm, I'm a little confused. Over but we get off this. Um hmm. I think Terrible is coming out here. His little ability. His lovely little ability. Last we dropped out out of Dynamax form. I think we have to go. We can drop a nice big old ice beam. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ice beam, and I think I'm just gonna rock slide. Try to get some flinches off. I think uh, Landers could be faster than Zekrom. I don't think it's faster than Nine Tails. But Nine Tails might just set up an Aurora Bell. No, drop a straight Blizzard. Drop a straight Blizzard. Lando gets dumped on, even with my assault vest. Even with my assault vest, we get dumped on like that. Ice beam comes through. We need a crit. Give us a crit or something. Nope. No stab, not doing a lot of damage. We get a crit though. We <laughs> we do get a crit. And this thing is holding the policy. Alright, that's GG's. He's just gonna hit me with his last year move. And say night night. Dang man, bull can come at, out here. Look how dope this move looks though. And we end up losing this battle. Man, dude, that blizzard really clutched it up, clutched it up for him. And we start off 0-2. But you guys know the deal. We don't go 0-3 on the channel. We had two solid battles that we ended up losing, but we're gonna hop into the third and get ourselves a win. Third and final battle coming at you guys. You guys know we don't lose three in a row. We're not going 0-3. We're winning this battle right here, right now. I promise you guys. I promise. But we're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with like Trick Room Hatterene, uh, Weather Control with Turkle, Landorus, Top of Finny, and uh, Dust Cops. And this team looks kind of meta. Looks like, I wouldn't say meta, but looks fairly uh, familiar. I'm going to lead Incineroar. I already have picked first. Um, hmm. I, might buy, I think I got to bring Lando in the back end as well. But if he leads at Hatterene and Duskoff, I kind of want to go in the Zassy. Kind of get boost here and roll out from there. I'm going to bring Lando. Then in the final spot, do I bring... Do I bring Blastoids? I think Blastoids could be pretty well. Kind of digging. I am kind of digging this. Let's roll after it. Let's do it. We got both our Intimidate mods to kind of counteract onto that, uh, onto that Ice Rider Calyrex. And then maybe he might Dynamax Tower Finny, but we do have a Snarl Pokemon in, with our Incineroar. That we are leading, which is nice. He has no Defiant. He can't really go into that. But he could be leading the Dust Cops and Hatterene and trying to just snarl up and roll from there. Let's see what he does. He goes into... Hatterene and Twerkle. All right. I'm going to roll out with Zassian and... Uh, I'm going to roll out with Zassian and... Incineroar. And in that case... Do I snarl and go for a Behemoth Blade, or do I fake out the Torkoal and go for the Behemoth Blade? This Drought is out and about. Because honestly, I'm thinking this. I'm thinking this right here. I'm thinking faking out and protecting. Having an instant or eat up an eruption. Having me block this. And then Behemoth Blade and taking out the uh Hatterene next turn. 
I don't want that thing being sashed. But I think this is gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna just protect here. I think I'm just gonna fake that thing out. Take off a sash if it is. Oh, that's a lovely play. It's a lovely play. He ends up protecting. We drop a fake out. I like this. Behemoth Blade can come in that slot. Take that out. No problem. And I could party shot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what Gene's going to do. I'm going to protect the Hatterene now. No, he does not. So there goes this. Can get rid of his Hatterene, no problem. Get out of my face. Dump on. Out of here. Get him going. So solid first turn. Usually your first turn in your leads is really what helps you win the battles. I feel like that's the most important part of this uh, game. Pardon shot coming out here. So I want to swap him. And I want to get out Blast Weeds. I'm going to say Blast Weeds in case he drops. Well, he's probably dropping an eruption or a fire move. I could go Lando. Lando's not bad. That's Soul Fest. I think Blast Weeds could just do a little bit more. And we get a fake out next turn as well. So Blast Weeds out and about. And he's going to throw out an eruption. Which I think my uh, Destiny should be able to eat, right? Yeah. Thank you, Parting Shot. Thank you, parting shot. Okay, so we get that. I can pick out whoever I want. Probably gonna pick out the Torkoal, to be honest with you guys, because this next Pokemon is probably what he's gonna throw out. It's gonna be Kallax, and he might actually protect this thing. He might Dynamax it. But I think play might be. I still have two Intimidate Mons in the back. Play, play's gonna be fake out here. And drop a bleed. Right? I'm digging this turn. I'm really digging this turn. He's going to protect Calyrex. We're going to get a fake out here. So, Behemoth Blade is going to be able to get off on the Calyrex no matter what. I really like. Here's my fake out. I think my Dynamax Mon is going to be ending up being uh, Lando. We get another flinch on that thing. And I think we just drop a Scald over on the U. We just, we just bleed. The reason I'm dropping the Scald is to, on the Torkoal. He's going to withdraw. Okay, I dig it. And who's he going to throw out? I'm gonna throw out this Pokemon. And it's gonna be the Lando. Should still be able to do some decent damage on the Lando. Even though we're just gonna be even here. Still think we do decent damage. And he, he's not gonna pick up the double kill. Oh, it takes away my white herb for nothing. <laughs> we're not gonna be able to pick up the double kill. We might be able to get one here. Let's see. Can you take him out? Can you do some damage on this boy? Decent damage. But he's gonna be able to take out my Zassy, no problem. Skull's gonna come out here. Doing a little bit of damage, gonna neglect some of that eruption. Which I dig. And Blastoids is gonna be fine. Destiny's gonna drop. Um Do I get out Lando and Dynamax right now? It's gonna be the play. Could get out instant or and just start flinching around. Uh yeah, I think that's the play. Get him out here, flinch the Lando. Once the Lando drop a Scald on him, take him out. Torkoal might protect. Intimidate coming out. That's a good battle. That's a good battle. Two Dynamaxes still left. We do have an Intimidate left. But I think Ice Beam would be the better call. Ice Beam into you. And do I fake out? Yeah, we're going to fake out. We're going to double up in this slot. I need to get rid of this Lando. I don't like it. Fake out coming out of you. We have fake out control a lot on this team, which I dig. I really do dig it. There's a the flinch. Ice Beam should be able to pick up the KO, I'm thinking. Come on, Ice Beam. Do him dirty. Yep. Ice Beam picks up the KO. This thing might drop another eruption. Let's see. What are you doing? Or a heat wave might come through. Solar? Ooh. Ooh. A little solar beam action. Okay. So we're sitting in this position right here. Where I think Blast Switch goes down here. Am I correct? Unless we eat this up. Probably not. We do? Oh. All right, never mind. That's fine. Sunlight's gone. Um, what's the play? Parting shot? Oh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna parting shot on the Calyrex. Yeah, I'm gonna parting shot on Calyrex so I can swap out my Incineroar, get in Landorus, get that Intimidate, and then have Incineroar's Intimidate in for later. I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. So we're gonna go there. Parting shot over onto you. And we're gonna roll. We're gonna roll out here. I really am liking this. It's a good battle. He's probably gonna Dynamax here as his like last ditch effort. And I still have my Lando to Dynamax. He'll be out speed. And we can hit it with a uh, Rockfall or Quake. 
Oh, dude, this is a good battle. This is a real good battle. He's going to protect Calyrex, which I'm fine with. I'm actually fine with that. Skull's going to come out here. Can we KO with the Skull? Let's just chance here. Oh, that's GG's. That, that's 100% GG's now. That's GG's. Get that Torkoal out of my face. We're rolling strong. We're rolling strong because I'm a parting shot again, and I'm going to hit that thing with a uh, with a Skull. Try to get a burn. That is our play. You know, Jeans is buzzing to start a final battle. The first two didn't really go in our favor, but I told you guys, I promised you guys a win here, and everything's looking real well here. We played nice control with this team. We got rid of that uh, trick room. We kind of canceled that right off with the flinch. And then we just played a nice little fake-out game. We kept pivoting out for the fake-outs, rolling out for the, from there, and now we're pivoting out with our Intimidates. I just feel like we're playing a solid game here. And we're going to end up picking up this W. But make a move, dude. He might just cancel this battle. He, he might know what's up. No, he's not going to cancel. He's not going out with the fight, which I give him props considering or uh, considering Calyrex can actually clutch up. He's a really strong Pokemon. Really, really good all around. But we're going to be able to drop this thing down to minus two, so I don't see him picking up a KO. And I think he might go for a Max Quake onto my Incineroar. So let's see what happens here. Skulls come out here. If we get a burn, it's 100% game. Show me the burn. Show it to me. Oh! Oh! Let's go. Burn and minus one. Get him out of here. Yo, hey. Get out of my game. Get him out of my game. <laughs> the big old burn. There goes that uh, party shot for attack shot. We get an Outlando. We get another Intimidate. So now this thing burned. Intimidate minus two. Well, not Intimidate. Attack drop minus two. And that's GG's. That's GG's. Yo, get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's going to drop a Steel Spike. Looking for a defense boost. He is going to go plus one up on attack. But yeah. Yo, we, he, he doesn't even KO. He doesn't even KO. My man doesn't even KO. Doesn't even KO. Go for another Scald here. And we drop it. Oh, Flutter by is super effective. But I'd rather get that rock rolling. Drop a bigger. Actually, ooh, this might not be in play. This might not be in play. Easy policy. Easy policy. Might not be in play. Might have not been the play yet. So if he is policied, he's still burned. But then he's going to go up plus one. But then we're going to intimidate and drop. He's going to be even with the burn. Ooh. Don't show me your policy. Don't do it to me. Don't you dare do it to me. Rockfall's gonna come out here. Rockfall is coming out here. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. No, I don't even want to look. Eyes are closed. Weather's out. Weather's out and about. Do not do that little sound. Nope, it did the little sound. Oh! Don't do me dirty. Skull coming out here. Doing some damage. You get a crit! <laughs> gonna drop another steel spike. And take out Blaster. Okay. Do we get the defense boost? I, I think we're fine. You know he's plus two on defense. Get the chilling now. He's plus one now. With a burn. Buffet's coming out and the burn damage. Alright, we yeah, okay, we I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We get another Intimidate out here. We can Flare Blitz and Rock Fall. And if Flare Blitz and Rock Fall doesn't KO, this thing's broken. And this game is going in the trash can. You guys, I will show it on video of me taking the game out of my Switch. Putting it in the case. And just tossing it in the trash can. And paying the trash man an uh, extra $100 tip to, uh, to make sure it's crushed and destroyed very, very well. <laughs> Let's get this Rock Fall rolling again. Let's say GG. Let's say GG. Come on. I told you. I told you. We don't go on with three here. We don't go on three. We don't do it. Rockfall comes out. Cleans up this battle, baby. We go one and two for today's video. Our two losses weren't bad losses. They were pretty solid battles all around. But we just ended up losing it. And that third and final battle, this one right here, we played really well. And we ended up catching that W for you guys. Awesome team we got to show off today. Ended up going one and two. Got one win and two losses, but got to show off this team to its fullest potential. I think it was cool we got to show off a Zassian team, but it was a Zassian team that not everybody's using, so that's pretty cool. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and above all else, have yourselves a great day. Peace out, everybody.